I earned 225 euro in just five hours. Let's get into today's video. It is all about mystery shopping and how to get started. So how did I get started with mystery shopping in Ireland? So what I did was I literally went onto Google and I searched mystery shopping in Ireland and I signed up to all the pages that looked reputable, that looked like they had a history of being around for quite a while. I heard back from I think two companies. I heard back from Pan Research, which is who I do the majority of my mystery shopping with at the moment. And I heard back from a company called Helion. Now Helion are more kind of worldwide based. So I only got a small amount of work from them. I've also heard back recently from another company called Crest, but I haven't done any work with them yet. So I can't really comment on them. So that's what I did. I went online and I signed up for these companies and then I waited for them to get in touch. Once I was then approved, I was able to go onto their website as a shopper and you can see all the jobs that are available. So do you choose the jobs or are the jobs kind of just given to you? So I assume it's different with different companies but I am going to talk about my dealings mainly with Pan Research. So once I was approved I can log onto their page as a shopper and when you go in there there is a thing called the jobs board and on that jobs board you can see all the shops that are available. You can see the company, you can see the price available for the job, the location of the job and then there is a section with that says more details and you can click in there and it tells you what the actual shop detail is, what they would like you to do. So if you read that detail and you like it, you can hit the button that says apply. This lets the company know that you're available and interested in doing that job. So if a job is there that you're not interested in, that doesn't fully suit you, you don't hit apply and they won't contact you to do that job. Um, other ways is sometimes they send out emails and like that, it's the same kind of format. They will say, are you interested in this type of job? And you can apply for it if you do. So it is completely your choice um, what jobs you take on. But also just to be aware, once you hit apply, that doesn't mean the job is yours. That means that you have put an interest forward for the job and then they will be in touch with you if you are selected. How do I decide if a job is for me? Um, the main thing I look at, number one, is the location. Like, is it near me? Is it awkward to get to? Um, that would be one of the main things for me to look at because also some jobs have a specific time when you need to go. They might say you need to go in the afternoon. They might say you need to go Monday to Friday between 11 and 3. Um, de there's details like that. So that would be one of the main things that I would look at. Number two is the upfront cost of a job. So some jobs are going to require you to purchase um, an item. So you need to pay for this upfront. You do not receive this money in advance. So you have to know that you are going to be out of pocket of that money until the job is cleared and payment comes to you and you are then reimbursed. Number three then is the payout of the job itself. So some jobs have a lower value, but you also get to keep a product and you can be uh, reimbursed for the product you bought and you get to keep it. Other times it could be that it is a higher value job um, and you don't get anything for it. Um, so what I would look at is totally what you receive. And then is it worth your time? So to be aware, there is prep involved in doing a shop. You do need to read the criteria. You need to know the questions. You need to know what you're looking out for. And I find reading through that form and prepping myself can take about 20 to 30 minutes. Then you have the travel to and from the job. 
and then doing the job itself and then when you come home you have the side of filling up the form so if you add up all that time and then look at how much you're receiving for doing that job is it worth it it could be to you and it might be to somebody else then other jobs can just be a phone call or sending an email um, like that ringing up making an inquiry about something so it depends on what charges you have on your phone so originally I didn't have free calls to all networks and things like that and that was something then that I switched over because it wasn't worth my while doing those jobs because I would have to top up my phone again so I switched over and now I can do those jobs because I have free calls and texts to people is there much involved in mystery shopping so yes there is it's not an easy job and it takes practice and you get better at it with time uh, my first time that I did it I was like not prepared at all so that's what I'll say the stages are there is a preparation stage you need to read the job spec to know what the company are looking for you to do then you need to read the questions in the report because you don't want to go do what's on the job spec and then you come back to answer the report and there is questions there that you're like oh no I didn't really notice that so that is one thing when you are going into a shop you need to be extremely observant um, you also need to have a very good memory you need to when you come back to fill out your form you need to write down in detail and be very specific about how the shop went how the service was what your surroundings were like maybe how many staff were there and um, were people in uniform did people have badges on um, you need to be able to describe the appearance of the people that served you and um, maybe their height and their hair colouring their gender things like that um, so the first time you do it it can be a bit overwhelming but I've done it a good few times now and I find it it's so much easier I naturally know what I need to remember and that helps a little bit but it's not just easy money and when you're filling out these forms what you have to remember is this is people's jobs you know it's not just like oh I'll just write this down it'll be grand it's actually real people's jobs that you are writing about so you need to take care of how you are filling out that form and being precise and also to remember you're not just there to pick up bad things that's what mystery shopping is not about you know you go into that or well I do in any way hoping that this person's going to ace it because I prefer to write just a really positive report and that's the best outcome for absolutely everybody involved if you are liking this video so far please hit that subscribe button 70% of people that are watching my videos at the moment are not subscribed so I would love it if you could hit that subscribe button and the little bell if you want to get notified of future videos coming up from me how and when do you get paid so I can go from the two companies that I've dealt with so with pan research any jobs that I have done in the month of September once they have been submitted and approved by the end of the month I will get paid then between the 15th and the 20th of the next month so if the jobs were all done in September and confirmed in September I'll receive payment for them on the 15th to the 20th of October and with pan research I am paid through PayPal so it's important to know when you are signing up to pan research that you sign up to them with the email that is connected to your PayPal they need them to match and verify to make payment to you for your shops the second then is Helion with Helion it is the same thing as in you do the work in September you get paid in October but you provide them with your bank details of where you'd like to be paid and they pay directly into your bank account 
So when you're getting paid, what is included is your pay for the shop that you did and then you are also reimbursed for any expenses or out of pocket, but you must submit your receipts. So for example, say you did a job and it was a cake shop and you had to go in and purchase a cake. And so the job was five euro, but the cake also costs five euro. So you would get five euro for doing the job and you would be reimbursed your five euro that you spent for purchasing the cake. So you need to also submit your receipt for the cake that you purchased to be paid for that. Um, you might also be out say postal expenses or sometimes it could be travel expenses um, and all of that is reimbursed in the same time. So everything from the month before is accumulated together and paid out in one go. I like to keep track of all the jobs that I've done, who I've done them with and how much I should be paid for those jobs on a side hustle tracker sheet. And this helps me keep track of how much I need to be paid. And when it comes to the payment date, um, I check that off compared to how much I've received into my bank account. And this keeps me happy that I know I'm receiving everything that I'm entitled to. So I find that really helpful. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to leave a link below to a free copy of my side hustle tracker so you can go and download it yourself if you are going to be doing some mystery shopping so thank you very much for watching this video and if this is something that you enjoyed please click on this video here this is one that i think you'll be very interested in having a look at too until next time bye